When you are ready to process your payroll, click Payroll on the menu bar. The current pay period is displayed at the top of the screen. Hover over a particular period on the payroll schedule to view the period number and period end date. Employees are listed in a summary view. To edit a particular employee's pay, simply click on the employee name. When the employee's payslip view is displayed on screen, enter their pay accordingly. If the employee is paid a basic gross, enter the amount in the field provided. An edit facility is available if you wish to enter an annual salary in order to calculate the equivalent periodic amount, or if you wish to perform a net to gross calculation. A delete option is also available within the edit facility, should you wish to completely remove a pay item. If an employee is hourly paid, the default rate entered in the employee record will be displayed. If this rate still applies, enter the number of hours required. To add more pay items, click the Add button and select whether you wish to add a basic pay amount, a daily pay amount or another hourly rate. To amend an hourly rate, click on the drop-down menu and select an option from the list. To enter a customised rate, select Add Additional Hourly Rate and type in the amount desired. If an employee is daily paid, the default rate entered in the employee record will be displayed. Brightpay will automatically apply the number of days in the period based on the employee's calendar. For example, if an employee normally works a five-day week and a day of unpaid leave is entered in their calendar, the daily rate will be applied to four days. Should you wish to turn this automatic facility off and manually enter the number of days, simply click the Edit button and untick the box. To add more pay items, click the Add button and select whether you wish to add a basic pay amount, a daily pay amount or another hourly rate. To amend a daily rate, click on the drop-down menu and select an option from the list. An option is also available to copy payments from a previous pay period. Click on Add, followed by Copy Payments From and the relevant period ending date. To edit an employee's tax and NIC information, an Edit button is available on the employee's pay slip. Settings which can be edited within this screen include the employee's tax code, their national insurance table and student loan indicator, as well as their typical daily or hourly rates. To add a note to an employee's payslip, click on the Notes section within the payslip view and type in your narrative. When payslips are finalised, this note will subsequently appear on the payslip. After completing an employee's pay, either return to the summary view by clicking on the tab button to the left of the screen or simply select a name from the list to edit the next employee's pay.